Hello, I'm Andrea Coleman and I'm going to show you how to make an art felt mouse. Take your foam and cut it in half and then cut that in half again so you will make a mouse out of one quarter. Now we have to shape it. To do that we take scissors and snip a bit off each side and uh, off the top like that and then we just got to shape those edges a bit keep the bottom flat take away all these extra pieces throw them in the bin and you should have a wedge shaped mouse We'll move on to making the tail for the mouse. Mix up your soapy water as per instructions. Divide your flesh coloured fleece into four approximately equal amounts along the length. Just keep one for each tail. And then gently roll it on your bubble wrap and you'll find one end is slightly thinner than another end. What we're going to do is try to keep this fluffy end dry and keep it fluffy. Once it's roundish, we can add a little bit of soapy water, again trying to keep that bit dry. So you sh should find it all condenses quite quickly like that and then between your hands roll it just to make it nice and strong the stronger it is the better And when it's done, just put it to one side to dry and we'll use it later. I'm just going to show you how to make a stripy tail for your mouse. Take some white and a length like this, roll it between your hands all the way down but leaving a certain proportion fluffy. And then take an absolutely tiny amount of coloured fleece and wrap it round When it's on, roll it again. Then take another colour. Again, absolutely minute. Less is more. If you try and put thick bits on, they just don't seem to stay on at all well. If it's too thin, just add another bit. that will deepen the colour. And just put the colours in any order you you find pleasing. But always very thin bits, even if you go over it twice. Thick bits always fall off. work your way down the tail. Once you've
covered your tail completely with different colours in stripes, then add a tiny bit of soapy water to the palm of your hand and then just rub it in just to secure the fibres in, keeping that top soft and fluffy. With dry hands, get your fleece and we can start to cover your mouse. Take a thin strip and then flatten it out very slightly, like that, and wrap it round the edge of your mouse. It's important to do this because it, the edges often get forgotten. So if we do them first of all, got a better chance of being covered. And poke it in with your needle. The needle is very sharp, so make sure that you keep the hand that's holding your mouse away from the needle. And then we'll turn it upside down and take small amounts of fleece and lay them in a lengthwise direction on your mouse. And then we'll turn it and do it in the opposite direction, so horizontal and vertical. And don't worry about all these fibres that are falling off your mouse. We'll use those in a sec. So poke it in. And then we can turn it over and pull the fibres up and secure them on the top of your mouse. And then we're going to repeat the process on this side. If it's a bit baggy, just do a bit of extra poking in the sides to secure those fibres. I just choose one colour at first so I can see clearly whether I've completely covered the foam. Um, if you do find any bald patches, you, can, you just patch them up with a bit of extra fleece. Turn it over. 
and carefully look over, see if you've any missed, have you missed any bits. Places that often get missed are these corners at the back. So if, if they are missed, just add a little bit like a sticking plaster on the corner, like that. And secure. Next, we'll put on the tail. So, I'll get my tail. With the tail, pull off any extra bits on the end and then open it out A little bit like an umbrella. And then place it on the back of your mouse. So it's like this. And secure it into place with the needle. And then we want to cover up this root area of the mouse. So get some of your colour and you can start to wrap it round like that. And this way. secure it in. You can do this as many times as you need to, small amounts at a time. you've done that you can cut your ears using the template from the pre-felt provided in your kit and I'll show you how to attach them from the nose and then secure them with your needle. So don't secure the top half, just the bottom about a third. Doesn't matter if they don't look particularly even, you'll get a chance later on to trim them as long as they're approximately in the right, the same place.
and then same thing again we'll secure them with a bit of the fleece over them like that. making sure the ears are free. Turn it upside down and secure these trailing fibres. We can now start to add some colours to your mouse. Once all the fibres are poked in. So to do stripes, just take a very thin strip absolutely minute of one of the colours and lay it on like that. Just pat it in place and then choose another colour. Lay that on. And if a stripe's a bit too thick, you can just lay another stripe right next to it. Or even on top. And whenever you want to secure them, just use your needle to poke them into place. you can do stripes by just wrapping around this area which also helps secure your tail If you'd like some dots on your mouse, I can show you how to do that. So, all you need is the most tiny amount and just gently roll it in your hands, like so. And then you could place it, for instance. There. And with your needle you can direct the fibres where you want them. Right, now you're ready for the wet part of this. Put your mouse on your bubble wrap. And with your soap and water, absolutely saturate your mouse. And then gently pat the mouse. Turn it over. It's important to take a long time over this patting stage. 
we're just pushing the fibres next to each other so they can attach themselves. If you get a wrinkle, just try to open it out and pat it down. Keep making sure your ears aren't attaching to your mouse by li lifting them up and then moving them about. It will feel um, quite strange at this stage that it, the fibres will lock into each other and stop lifting. You might find the fi fibres lift away from the mouse, but the more you pat them, um, the better it will get. It also might be that your mouse isn't actually wet enough, so add more soapy water. And you can start to shape the nose a little bit by encouraging the fibres to go in that direction. Make sure you don't pull your ears off though. And don't forget the tail area. Keep patting, or you can even put your fingers between the tail to get really close to there. And if it needs a bit more water, pour it on. After a little while, you'll find that the fibres are beginning to get more connected with each other. And then you can start to rub it a little bit by stroking your hand just very lightly over the mouse. And encourage the fibres to go towards the nose, even pinch it slightly. Always moving it about, never spending too long in one direction. And you can also use the bubble wrap, again quite gently. all over. The places you rub the most will get the most condensed and the smaller so therefore it's important to rub a lot on the nose area. You can even pinch it and pull it a little bit if you need to. a little bit. Be careful of doing too much of it. You can also get the bubble wrap and rub the bubble wrap on your mouse.
it's worth taking some time over this because you don't want your mouse to fall apart. boxy just rub those sides there my mouse is just about done I will rinse it out and put it to dry somewhere and when it's dry, we can do the eyes. If you'd like to trim the ears on your mouse, just take a pair of scissors and trim them off a bit. very small bits at a time. There. And pop him to dry. Here's a mouse that I made earlier and I'll show you how to put eyes in. With your felting needle, when you've decided where you're going to put the eyes, poke the needle in one the same place several times until you've got a slight dimple developing. And then take an absolutely tiny amount of fleece and roll it up in your fingers and place it in the dimple and get all the fibres in secure with the needle. You can always pull it out if you're not happy with it and do it again. Okay. And then repeat on the other side. Once you've put the eyes in you've completed your mouse. You may like to add whiskers, um, just sew them in with a basic sewing kit and thread. Um, you've also got three more to do, so you have a whole family of mice. Have lots of fun with it, and maybe you'd like to try making another animal for my kits.